Hello everybody and welcome back to Stellaris. Um, we are currently in the Jorawar system, uh, admiring our assembled fleet in its entirety. Um, now if you'll remember, the Jorawar system is uh, our defensive choke point um, that we are fortifying uh, in preparation for an invasion from the coalition of Panaxella Prima. Um, now we are expecting them to be aggressive towards us uh, because we had a bit of a rivalry going even before we established contact and now that we have established contact they are um, asserting that they have a claim to this Weezer system and that we are unrightfully occupying it. Um, so I expect sometime in the future they may wish to declare war on us to conquer it uh, from us. Uh, we will be ready in that eventuality. Um, our Jorawar space station currently has two gun batteries installed. Um, we've got our entire fleet sitting here. Um, and uh, we are currently building a Huawei uh, starport where we are going to build a couple of shipyards so we can reinforce um, from closer by um, than Favnor. Um, in the north, uh, our empire is currently undefended. Um, I don't expect any attack from the Mythfell order because uh, they made it clear to us when we first established contact that they wish to be left alone. Um, but they're pacifist, so I don't expect them to be outwardly aggressive towards us. Um, as long as we leave them alone, I think they won't give us any trouble, um, and we're happy to do that. Our scientists are um, uh, currently all occupied except for this. Ah, right. So we just finished exploring the Dacha system with this strange pre-FTL civilization that seems to span several Gaia planets. I think there's like seven of them in this one system. Um, and we can't figure out how they're transporting materials and people between the planets, but they found a way without actually entering space. Um, so we're going to see if we can study them and figure out what exactly is going on there. Um, so this scientist needs more orders, so I think we're going to move this scientist out to um, explore the systems in this star cluster here. So we're going to move and queue up all of these uh, survey orders. Um, and all of our other scientists are occupied. We are figuring out the, um, the history of the bowel fossils on this, on this world. Um, this was supposedly one of their rich colonies, but it's a barren world here. Uh, we found out that the Gruner completely destroyed the world in their, in their attack on the bowel species. Um, this scientist is going to try to see what they can learn on this planet, which is the last known location of the Rubricator. Um, and we want to figure out what exactly this Rubricator is, uh, what implications that might have for our empire. Uh, we're moving this scientist down to assist in exploration over here. And um, let's see, do we have any important notifications up top? The Mythfell Order actually declared us their rivals. <sighs> well, this certainly changes things. I did not expect um, any attack or declaration of war from them, but now I need to be a little more wary. Because um, this basically means that they're not just trying to be kept alone. They are outwardly slandering our empire um, and outwardly expressing uh, their, dis their dislike and disdain for our people. Um, so maybe we consider having a smaller secondary fleet to patrol up north here. Um, we have five star base capacity, so I think it's fair once we get some more star base capacity, um, to start building another fortification in the Sysmax system. All right. Um, our planet should be all be doing well. This has plenty of jobs and available housing on our home world. Um, the Sadia is looking good. Corim is, um, I think the new world in the Huawei system. Yes, it is. Okay, that's currently in the process of colonizing. And uh, Fortalia is our Gaia world. Um, and we're currently building a city district. And once we're done with the city district, I think we're gonna make this into an agricultural world. So we can go ahead and queue up that. Ah, we're missing minerals. Okay, I'll go ahead and hit unpause um, and let this play out a little bit. See what, see what happens. All right, straight away we finish an archeological site, uh, the Baron. 
Coordinates describe the location of another former bull colony that have been extracted from a shattered Gruner data crystal. Perhaps this planet will boast some of the riches sought after by the bull's ancient enemies. All right, so if not on this colony, perhaps on the next one. Situation um, So we're gonna continue following this trail. Um, we're hot on the trail and we're, we're discovering all about these ancient aliens. Um, let me see if is this is the right archaeological site. This says Seeds of Destruction. No. Okay, I'm going to go to my situation log and I am going to find this. This is in the Toyubo system. Ah, so this has two archaeological sites in the Toyubo system, huh? Okay. Well, we'll move our scientists up. We're gonna research projects in the system and then we're gonna continue investigating. We'll press onwards. Um, where are our construction ships? Okay, so this construction ship is currently in the process of getting us access to the minerals in this system. And this construction ship is building uh, mining stations in this system. All right. Um, I think this is going to be a valuable system and this is going to be a valuable system. So we'll build that here and here next. Um, that way we're going to secure access of controlled space um, all the way from uh, the heart of our empire to the fringes of our empire down here. All right. Um, we can upgrade the planetary administration on Desadia, which was our very first colony. Um, we're deciding to make this a generator world, so it's going to be focused on energy um, output. Um, but we're lacking minerals, complete. so until we have more minerals, we can't do anything. Construction oh, yeah. complete. All right. Construction complete, construction complete. Um, we do need more energy. So I think it's worth building an outpost here um, and getting access to that eight, eight energy. Um, yeah. We could probably sell off a thousand food because we are quite comfortable making food and we can reinvest that energy into minerals. Um, I wish I had enough to buy a thousand, but 500 will do us at the very least. Um, we need more jobs here, so I'm going to build a farming district. All right, so the coalition of Panaxella Prima have also declared rivalry on with us. Um, and I'm considering whether or not it might be wise to reciprocate uh, these rivalries. Um, I think I'm much more willing to reciprocate a rivalry um, with the coalition of Panaxella Prima. Construction complete. But I don't think I'm going to reciprocate my a rivalry with this empire. I think we're going to try to appease them a little bit because um, we are fearful of an attack and ultimately we just want to be left alone um, and we, we can't afford to get involved in another costly war. Um, so let's pick a new physics research. We could get auxiliary fire control, which is a pretty good um, component. Uh, we could get energy grid and capacity subsidies. Um, which, given our, given our current situation with uh, energy credits, might not be a bad play. Uh, we could get improved shields, or we can get more physics from researchers. Um, given how expensive this is, I think we're going to go for improved shields right now. Um, this construction ship needs orders, and like I said, we're going to go uh, expand into this system next and get access to this crazy amount of minerals. All right, this generator world, we're going to go ahead and update our planetary administration. Complete. Situation updated. Carnival protesters. Protesters swinging up across the Sadia. These large and colorful assemblies have gathered in support of singularly frivolous issues, from the right to hold public dances inside financial institutions to which colors should be painted on our defense platforms. Wow, this seems like a productive use of our time. The protests are not yet violent, but they are noisy. Some of the civic services on Desadia have been placed under strain by this disruption. 
The same cannot be said for the general public, however, who, rather than being inconvenienced, seem to be enjoying the quirky demonstrations. Wow, that is a brutal modifier. Happiness plus 20 is good, but the specialist pop resource output minus 30% is absolutely terrible. Um, and of course, this is on Desadia. Okay, um, well... Mm -hmm. Not ideal, but we will deal with it. If people want to protest over stupid things, what can we Special do about project it? project complete. We're not going to infringe on their personal freedoms. Um, we are, we are a republic, and we stand for all that all that is supposed to mean. Former Bolt Colony, the Shattered, the crew of the ISS Tatimin was initially certain they had made a triangulation mistake when deducing the coordinates of the supposed colony in the Toyobo system having found nothing but asteroids where they expected a life-bearing planet. However, closely, closer studies of the asteroid's composition has revealed that they are, in fact, the remains of a former bull colony. The once lush planet was blown into several thousand rocky pieces by some unknown col collision, uh, occurring roughly seven million years ago. Deductions suggest the Gruner played some role in the planet's dark fate. One particularly promising asteroid has been selected for further study, as it appears to possess a large number of fossilized life forms from the lost planet. A pity. Perhaps we will learn more. That is absolutely atrocious. Um, that is absolutely... Absolutely atrocious what the, uh, what the Gruner were involved with. Why can't we excavate this site? We can only excavate archaeological sites cannot ar excavate archaeological sites outside your empire is this a this system is still outside our empire okay so we know what we're going to um we know what we're going to do with this construction ship we're going to queue up a star base here and then we can move back and we can build mining stations to get those energy credits we're lacking the minerals to do that right now anyways um we need to get more consumer goods um on our planets so let's see, the city is going to be um, focused on generator districts um, so we can avoid having any further energy problems in the future. Uh, we have our Fortalia uh, is going to be probably science and agriculture um, and Corim, our new planet. I think we should make this into an industrial focused planet. So we're going to build a whole lot of industrial districts here uh, to uh, get our industry up and going. More uh, alloys and more consumer goods. The protests on Desadia have ceased almost as suddenly as they began. Rumors about the origins abound, but many whispers speak of a group called the Manifesti. The enigmatic, the enigmatic collective seems to have been responsible for a number of provocative art projects in recent years. Their subject matter every bit as spurious as the issues were being protested on Desadia. All right, um, so we could arrest these artists or we could let the players have their fun. Um, if this organization really is as powerful as it seems, I wouldn't want to risk arresting them. Uh, they might retaliate and cause even more mischief. Um, let's let them have their fun. Um, it's their right to. Uh, we, we don't want to infringe on their personal freedoms at all. Um, if they want to protest frivolous issues, it sucks, but what can we do about it? Unless they do anything illegal, our hands are tied. So it looks like there's a size 24 desert world we might consider colonizing here. Um, that's a really Anomaly big found. world, and I think desert will be somewhat habitable for us. Unusual energy readings. We briefly collected some unusual energy readings emanating from this planet. It may have been a glitch in our systems, or it could be a sign of something more. Well, let's go figure out. All right. Planet's looking all right. This planet's still colonizing. This planet's doing all right. This planet's doing all right. All right. I am concerned about these consumer goods, but oh boy, MSI has come back, and we just moved our entire fleet away from Fevnor. I should have considered that. I totally forgot they were coming in 2230. <sighs> What does this mean for us? Once again, we're contacting you on behalf of the Minamar Specialized Industries regarding an outstanding debt. 
We only wish to resolve this matter peacefully and hope that you are more willing to participate in a constructive dialogue. Um, like, I don't want to pay out of principle, but I don't know if we have a choice. So they've kind of caught us, caught us off guard, and now um, now they have leverage. You know what? We will eat the consequences. We won't pay. We're not bowing down to these guys ever. We're gonna see what happens. Um, I'm gonna pause this straight away. Bring it on. Um, and I'm going to see how fastly we can move our fleet of corvettes. Now our uh, flagship is going to be really slow, so it's not gonna get there in any reasonable time, but we can move this fleet of 16 corvettes uh, to Fevnor, and it's going to take about two years. Spaceport under Not attack. ideal, but we'll, we'll do what we found. have to do. Supply ship wreckage. Sensors report a shipwreck of unidentified origin. It has been signaled in orbit of Odlamon B. Okay. Shipwreck of unidentified origin. Let's look into it. This construction ship needs orders. Um, let's build uh, mining stations to get those minerals. Let's check out what's happening in Favaria. Is our space station equipped to handle this fleet? Bunker bot. We have traced the unusual electromagnetic radiation emanating from Odlamon 2 to a secret subterranean bunker hiding a mega computer the size of a battleship. A computer the size of a battleship. That's incredible. Our researchers suspect that it may have been there for several thousand years, hard at work solving a very singular, a single very complex problem the nature of which still eludes us. When the crew attempted to interact with the computer, they discovered that the facility, which had appeared both abandoned and unguarded, was in fact operated by a security AI, the highest purpose of which seems to be frying its visitors alive. Oh boy, I hope our scientists are safe. As the crew defeated the AI, good, okay, that's good to hear, it broadcasted a message to an unknown recipient. Hmm. We could scrap it for parts, we could use it to boost our own research, or we could let it continue its mysterious research. Um, let's use it to boost our own research, let's learn what we can from this thing. Um, so is our space station going to be able to handle this fleet? We'll see, strange goings on. We have received troubling reports that the erratic behavior among some of our colonists on Fertalia. The behavior ranges from confusion to extreme agitation, and isolated cases of unexplained violence have been observed. Affected citizens are difficult to communicate with, as such are unable to provide sufficient reasoning behind their actions. At this point, we are unable to identify a clear cause behind the behavior, whether it be biological, chemical, or otherwise. Is this related to the manifesti? Are they causing some some sort of uh, more illegal mischief causing our our our, our citizens to act erratically. Um, our researchers are strongly recommend launching a targeted scientific inquiry before the situation gets out of hand. All right, we need to look into this um, erratic uh, planet side behavior. Situation so, updated. what's this going to take from us? A science ship? No. Just uh, some societal research time. Okay, we'll do that. Let's figure out why the people on Fortalia right here are seemingly going nuts. All right, um, let's continue on with this battle. It looks like these ships are focused on auto cannons, which are doing very poorly against um, our space station's hull and shields. Uh, not shields, hull and armor, so that's a plus. It might just be able to, um, it might just be able to take, take care of this for us. Mounting tensions. More colonists on Fortalia have succumbed to confusion and agitation, exhibiting the erratic behavior we first observed in isolated populations weeks ago. Uh-oh, this is becoming widespread. Is it some kind of disease or something? A concerning number have also began to display uh, aggression and violent tendencies. 
Our scientists warn the situation is likely to continue to degrade until we are able to find a cause. Well, good thing our scientists are already on it. That's a top priority for us. All right. Oh, this is the rubricator system. We finally made it to that old relic world um, where the rats ran off to. The, the thieving rats, supposedly. Uh, toppled over buildings, crashed spaceships, lumps of melted junk, and trinkets burned to a crisp indicate that the former inhabitants of Borbagon Five led their homes in the midst of uh, fled their homes in the midst of a losing battle against a superior foe. Maybe the superior foe was whoever they stole the rubricator from. The presence of bodies uh, bearing foreign military insignia suggests it may have been infighting between clans of rats and native to different home worlds. Interesting. Their evacuation efforts were impeded by their unwillingness to abandon their treasured trinkets, and many lost their lives, scrabbing to save completely mundane items. One artifact, however, seems to have held a completely special place in their society, the Rubicator. It appears that they fought long and hard to save it, but ultimately had to leave it behind. Interesting how fixated they were on this artifact, the Rubicator. Alright, let's continue looking into it. Alright. Are we going to be able to scrape by in this battle? Wreckage identified. Our crew aboard the ISS Yvaldim report that the Ozaman B shipwreck appears to have been the result of an unexpected geomagnetic solar storm. That's a big word. Uh, the supply ship suffered a complete loss of life support systems and sustained inoperable damage, drifting until the it entered the Ozaman B's gravity well. There are no survivors. That's tragic. The ship's cargo hold does indeed contain a notable amount of minerals, however. The captain of the ISS Yvaldim cautions that the construction indicates Mythfell design. It is highly likely that the minerals belonging to the Mythfell order, and they may have been displeased should we lay claim to their shipment. Alright. Uh, we're gonna try to appease them. Um, they are openly aggressive towards our empire, and um, we can't, we can't really be dealing with this, so we're going to pander to them. We're not going to risk an altercation. We will return the minerals to there as a gesture of good faith, goodwill. Um, hopefully they appreciate that. They're harming our relations. That's a shame. Colony established. All right. Not today. Once again, we forced the debt collectors to retreat from our home system. It's unlikely we've seen the last of them, but for now, our people and our assets are safe. Okay, so that was a close one. So, in the future, in the future, we need to make sure we have a defense in the Fevnor system. And for now, I think that defense can just be this recovered asset. So I'm going to actually move our Corvette fleet to Huawei, where we're going to build some shipyards so we can upgrade and expand this fleet. Okay, so we're going to build two shipyards there. And we are going to build some crew quarters so that we can just station our fleet here. Um, which is close to the front, so if we get attacked, we can quickly move them up to draw a wire if needed. Um, okay. Our science ship has no orders, that's fine. So, this starbase is not being cur currently used for anything. Forever indebted, the debt collectors departed from our home system, but a deep sense of dread still lingers. Uh, given their dedication to their employer, they will never stop harassing us. Even if we somehow manage to repay the full sum, they will come up with something else. Interest rates, legal loopholes, small print hidden in documents we don't remember signing. If we can't buy back our freedom, we have no choice but to fight for it. The only question is how. Nah. We don't do diplomacy here. We're not gonna we're not gonna let them bully us. We are going to fight them with weapons. We will make them pay. We defended we defeated them once. Excuse me. We defeated them once and we can do it again, but it won't be easy. The first time they weren't expecting for us to fight back. Now they will attack us with their full might of their fleet. To have any chance, we must bide our time and prepare ourselves. This is a battle we cannot afford to lose. Alright. We will make them pay. Situation log updated. Rage virus. Oh, this must be what's happening on Fortalia. Tragedy struck the research team, leading the charge and isolating the cause behind 
uh, the erratic behavior on Fortalia. Despite the extensive countermeasures, several members of the team have began to display aggressive tip aggression typical of the condition, and in the ensuing chaos, several scientists were killed. So even our scientists sent to study there are now being affected by the quote-unquote rage virus. There is, however, a silver lining. We have discovered that the cause behind this epidemic is of erratic behavior is infectious, a contagion caused by an airborne virus that affects the fundamental neurology of its victims. The remaining team is scrambling to develop a vaccine. All right, that's promising. We're on the road to a vaccine. Wow, good news. Good news. Um, right, we had this unused starbase that's collecting the trade value in the Yamathor system. Invasion over. Invaders? What? On Fortalia? Okay, hold on. Maybe I need to read these. The situation on Fortalia is spreading out of control. The percentage of affected colonists displaying unexplained agitation and aggression has reached a boiling point. Worse yet, this includes portions of the populace with access to weaponry. Uh-oh, is this like a civil war? Outright skirmishes have broken out in our settlements, overwhelming civil peacekeeper forces. Enraged colonists are attacking one another and anyone who comes in range. Uh-oh. What madness is this? More colonists on Fortalia have succumbed to the confusion and agitation, exhibiting the erratic behavior we first observed in isolated populations weeks ago. Concerning number have also began to display aggression and violent tendencies. Our scientists warn the situation is likely to continue to degrade until we are able to find a cause. Um, wow. So these crazy raged up individuals have just completely launched like a civil war and taken control of the planet. Raging researchers, society research from jobs minus 50%. It's occupied by enraged colonists. Okay, we need to get we need to we need to get on top of the situation as soon as possible. So, we're going to recruit an army 1 2 3 4 uh we need more I, I think we probably need at least five, five units. So let's sell off 500 food so we can just get 100 more minerals. Okay, so we're gonna get a, an army of five and we're gonna lead it straight there and we're gonna reclaim this system. This is not acceptable. Oh, I'm nervous. I don't know what this is gonna mean for us. All right, not good news. Mythfell Order. Valdari, we have received word of our drowned ship's uh, our drowned supply ship's cargo. We would like to extend our gratitude for you taking the time to recover it without the need for Mythfell intervention. It's our it's our pleasure. Okay, so hopefully they see that we're we're not out to do them any harm. And maybe they'll they'll be kinder to us in the future. Pictures grunt a thousand words. A subversive dialect has taken root in our art centers and educational institutions. Its origins lie in another project penned by the Manifesti. Linguists note that the so-called uslip speak, all words relating to the economy have been replaced by expressive grunts. More worryingly, its many and colorful insuits have insuits, insults, sorry. Its many colorful insults all seem to derive from the names of prominent military figures. This has drawn formal complaints from the individual's families. Wow. Um, these guys really are just trying to find ways to cause trouble in every way possible. Okay, so this is a this is not a good time for us, right? We have two two neighbors that are being openly hostile towards us. They're declaring rivalry and claiming our systems. Uh, we have. An open rebellion on one of our planets System because of some crazy complete. virus. Um, this is not going well for us this episode. All right, so we have a new election. And it looks like the candidate with the most popular support is our current commissary general, who is going to get reelected yet again. Wow. This guy has been commissary general for so many elections in a row. Uh, I wonder how our population is going to feel about this. It's like our own... Uh, 
uh, FDR. I don't know, maybe we need to place a term limit. Special project complete. Rage virus vaccine developed. The development of a vaccine to treat the epidemic afflicting our populations on Fortalia has successfully concluded. Distribution of the vaccine has begun, and life on Fortalia should soon return to normal. Research has revealed that the retrovirus behind the turmoil appears to have evolved in Fortalia millions of years ago. Lying dormant in frozen biomatter, it resurfaced when the planet's ice caps melted. It's very likely this led to the demise of the ancient robots makers centuries ago. Oh right! There were ancient robots on the planet. So this virus probably wiped them out. Uh, wiped out the species that built the robots. Luckily, the Favarian Republic is better equipped to deal with viral contaminants. The development of this vaccine has even led to the advancements in, in the field of medicine. All right, we gained a technology crypto revitalization. Research complete. This gives us upgraded gene clinics. Fantastic. Those are gonna cost exotic gases as upkeep, which we don't have access to right now, but we will in the future. So what's going on here? Research complete. All right, we finished this research. I think we need to get starbase capacity plus two. We need to fortify our northern border. Uh, artificial moral codes would also be pretty good. This would still be pretty good too. Um, but ultimately, we need to uh, increase increase this. Right, I was gonna build a couple of anchorages on this um, on this station. This uh, this station is really only being used to collect the trade value from this planet and trade it to Fevnor. So in the meantime, we can build anchorages here to increase our naval capacity, which is criminally low. Mirrors, brightly. The Manifesti have unveiled their most public exhibition to date. A new and extremely popular interactive experience on Favaria invites visitors to manipulate reflections and images of themselves and create distorted collages of political figures, some from other galactic empires. Oh no, are we going to risk insulting our neighbors? Critics herald these pieces as casting a necessarily and harsh light upon our sense of self. The exhibition has also inspired a number of satirical works both on domestic issues and on pan-species relations. Debate amongst our social researchers is lively. More conservative voices urge caution. Alright, um, this is becoming a matter of national security. Um, these people are... are potentially going to cause a conflict with the neighbors that we can't afford to get into so we're going to shut them down no way they took it too far they took it too far i was letting them I was letting them do their thing but there's there's a limit on what, what we're going to let them get away with ganvian civilization encountered we have detected the presence of a gestalt pre-space pre alien on zatar 2 in the zatar system Wow, okay, so this planet we were thinking about colonizing is already colonized by um, pre-FTLs. There is evidence that they have harnessed the power of the atom, and nuclear weapons may be prolific among their many splintered hive colonies. The possibility of a sudden self-inflicted extinction event is high. We should consider building an observation post above their world to study them more closely. Interesting. Okay, so they are just like us, and we are not going to do what MSI did to us. We are going to leave them be and let their civilization run their natural course. Good to know that they're there. Construction complete. Okay. Research complete. So we can go ahead, now that we control the system, we can excavate this archaeological site and look into the bull colony. Engineering insights. Recent advancements in our ship designs have led to an insight in how to upgrade our flagship to make use of previously unused systems. All right, we can upgrade the flagship. Situation That's excellent. updated. We will think about doing that when we get the chance. Fleet command limit plus 10, unlock ship type destroyer. All right, that's great. We can get access to autocannons, 
Uh, upgraded star bases would be pretty good. We could start manufacturing rare crystals. We could start manufacturing exotic gases. Hmm, so many options. I'm liking... I'm liking star holds. Let's get some upgraded uh, stations. We only get five of them. Um, and soon seven, and we're gonna try and make the use of the seven that we have. Make good use of the seven that we have. All right. So I think we'll think we'll look into upgrading our flagship once we get it back to Fevnor. So Tar One, strategic resource discovered. Okay, so we discovered volatile moats. These preternatural particles contain tremendous amounts of energy, which could be exploited in energy production as fuel or even as explosives. While we do not yet possess the means to extract this resource, we should definitely consider establishing control over the system for future exploitation. Got it. We will. So let's look at this Fortalia colony. Um, enraged colonists. Okay. They're not very powerful, the enraged colonists. So I think... I know I said we needed to get um, at least five armies. I think we're actually going to make do with just two. We're going to move these two armies to Yamathur ASAP. Nipped in the bud. Our efforts to apprehend me members of the Manifesti proved difficult, but have now yielded results. Once the slew of sympathetic pretenders could be sorted out from the actual instigators, all Manifesti activities stopped. A great deal of public scrutiny is now coming to bear on our attitudes towards censorship, non, uh, not the least because this movement had encouraged such liberal thinking. Nevertheless, there have been marked decline in vandalism and other civil distractions. It's not our proudest moment, um, but it had to be done. They, they went too far. Let us hope that that's the end of such nonsense. Let's hope. I fear retaliation. All right, we have an event. Shivin. Huh. The Baron is of imposing stature. Everything about him radiates rigid military discipline. His boots are spotless, his uniform neatly pressed, his eyes are watchful and calculating. But beyond the strict facade, there is something else. His face is a map of grief. I come to offer my services as an admiral and tactician. Please accept my pledge, and I will crush those who would do you harm. Alright, so we have this alien who came out of nowhere, and is trying to serve us as an admiral. If you're an admiral, where is your fleet? To my shame, it is lost. We were orbiting a red star, making it vital repairs, when our enemies ambushed us. They came from all directions. Outnumbered ten to one, I watched as my ships and their crews met their end around the hellish sun. As a parting gift, I was allowed to live. Even now, I carry the shame of that defeat. Wow. Why do you wish to join us? You understand that peace is a luxury brought by war. We, we, we understand that well. Uh, we had to earn, we had to earn our freedom. Uh, should you not serve your noble house? House uh, Jaredin fell with me. After my defeat, I was consumed by a thirst for vengeance. Believe me, my enemies paid for what they did. My honor may have been taken, but not my skill in battle. On this, I pledge my life. All right. So, as a counselor, this dude can give us plus two influence from power projection, plus 25% ship build speed, plus 500 ship shredding experience. These are all really good. Um, no doubt, these are all really good. Um, you can also give us naval capacity plus 5% as a counselor. Um, for any ships he's commanding, they get plus 7% damage. Um, but he came out of nowhere. Can we trust him? I 
I don't I think we can take him in. I don't think we're gonna put him on our council straight away. We can give him We can give him some minor responsibilities, like command of a fleet. Uh and we can see if he proves his worth. And if he proves his worth, we might promote him. Yeah, I think we're gonna enlist this guy. We're gonna enlist this guy and um we can upgrade him straight away. Um so we can give him defense engineer, which as a counselor would give him defense platform damage and defense platform hole points, or we can give him hostility. I think we'll give him hostility. As a counselor, that gives him ship's weapon damage and army damage, yeah. So we'll do hostility. I think we'll give him hostility too. All of these are really good. Sub light speed plus 5%. Now that's that's hard to beat. Okay. So, welcome on board. Welcome on board. Um Let's see. Our current fleets. This is our Minister of Defense, a prominent person com commanding our main fleet, and this is just a commander. Okay, so we're going to swap this this commander with this guy, and we're going to let him prove his worth. Um, the other commander, we're going to move to con command our army. Yes. All right. Guys, if this guy proves found. valuable to us, um, we will promote him and per perhaps give him a seat on our council. Life signs. We have detected life signs coming from somewhere beneath the barren and lifeless surface of this planet. What manner of organism could possibly live there? Wow. Beneath the barren and lifeless surface. Something odd, for sure. Alright, uh, this space station needs um, some modules too, and I think we're going to build anchorages here too. So, our goal is to put anchorages on any space stations where we don't need anything else. I think we're going to have a shipyard and a bastion kind of near our, our borders. So we're going to have like one here. We're gonna have one here. And then um, in addition to that, we might need to have some uh, station set up at like important trade route places uh, with a lot of uh, military power to defend our trade trade lanes. Silicon life forms. Some kind of burrowing silicon based life form inhabits a vast network of tunnels beneath the barren surface of Zatar 3. At best, we can tell the creatures feed off rocks and there is evidence to suggest that they possess a rudimentary form of intelligence. Their tunneling efforts have shuffled large amounts of valuable minerals to the surface. Intriguing. Um, okay. Council agenda available. War has been declared against us. Oh boy. Oh boy. Well, I was just about to say this is a good time to, uh, to end the episode. And uh, I couldn't agree more. We knew this was coming. I didn't think it would come so soon. So they are trying to conquer Weezer and Jorawar from us. Okay, so next episode, we will have to deal with this invasion, right? We will have to fortify and strengthen our military. We'll have to pull all of our military ships back to Jorawar as soon as possible and see if we can uh, successfully defend uh, this, uh, defend our, our, our territory. If the uh, new uh, alien commander proves useful in this battle, we might promote him and uh, give him a seat on our council. Uh, wow, what an exciting episode. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed and uh, I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching.